So today I want to explain to you how you can identify mouse or controller players with 100% accuracy. So next time you watch a kill cam or you spectate a teammate, you can clearly tell what kind of input device they are using. This is the third part of my mouse and keyboard series. In the first one I have explained to you if Zim users are technically cheating and if you could get banned for using one. And in the second one I have showed you how many Zim users are out there and what the chances are to play against one. If you would like to know more about that then you can check out the links in the video description. Now first I will show you the basics and after that I will present you some gameplay clips with which you can test your knowledge. In these clips I will also show you some advanced cues that will give away if someone uses a mouse or controller. Now the most obvious thing that lets you distinguish a mouse user from a controller player is not the aim but the movement. So the first thing you should always pay attention to is how a player is moving. Controller players can move into any direction and they can do that at any possible speed. If you therefore see someone making very slow movement adjustments, then it is usually a controller player. Keyboard users can only move into eight directions and they will always move at maximum speed. Given how they can only move with the maximum speed, their movement is extremely constant and never really changes. They also have much faster strafe movements since they don't have to peg the analog stick from one side to the other. When we look at the aiming side, there are also some differences. Mouse players can make extremely fine crosshair adjustments that will almost look like a pixel skip. Something like that is not possible with controller sticks, regardless of the stick sensitivity you are using. Mouse players also have very uneven swipes and flicks. Instead of making one direct line, their flick will look more like a curve or a wave pattern. With a controller, this is a lot different. A flick will basically always look like a straight line. Also, the speed at which the flick is performed is extremely consistent. When a mouse player flicks the mouse, the crosshair will usually not move at a consistent speed, but instead it will look like a heavily accelerated swipe. At last, there are also aiming patterns that are impossible to replicate for controller players. Mouse players can make circular aim adjustments or other shapes that controller players cannot do with analog sticks. The only exception to all of this is the Nexus controller. Since it offers motion aiming, it can achieve the same accuracy and aiming patterns as mouse players. So whenever you suspect someone to be a mouse player, it could also be a Nexus player. Now let's look at some actual gameplay clips. I will use clips from Rainbow Six. Since the game has no aim assist, it is even more important to know if someone uses a controller or a mouse. The clips are either my own ones or from friends. Some of my friends have reached top 20 on controller, while others have done it with a Zim. So their gameplay will be ideal to distinguish mouse users from controller players. If you can successfully analyze the following clips, then you will also be able to do it in any other game as well. Each time I will show you the clip first, and then I will replay it a second time to tell you why it is a mouse or controller clip. If you enjoy the gameplay, then you can find links to the YouTube channels of my friends in the video description. They are among the best Rainbow Six console players in the world and often upload gameplays and share their settings. Let's start with the first clip. This is a controller gameplay. The things that give it away are the imprecise micro-aim adjustments that happen right at the start, but also the very smooth and slow character movement. We also have a lot of very fast and constant aiming flicks, which always follow a straight line. Let's look at the second clip.
This is 100% a mouse gameplay. There are too many micro-aim adjustments that cannot be done with an analog stick. The turns and flicks are also not constant and straight, but have curves and wave patterns. And their speed is also very inconsistent as well. Now here is a short one. This is again a mouse gameplay. When I tried to shoot the drone on the ground, I made very circular crosshair adjustments, which cannot be replicated with a controller. Let's look at another short one. That one was quite easy. The uninterrupted turning to the side at a constant speed is 100% a controller gameplay. Let's have a look at a longer clip. This one basically has it all. The inconsistent crosshair flicks, the very precise micro-aim adjustments, and an ultra-fast turning speed. Especially the super-fast turning speed usually gives away mouse players. Controller players typically play on slower sensitivities. So this one is 100% a mouse gameplay. Now here is the hardest clip for today. It's an older one and will require your full attention. There is basically only one dead giveaway which lets you tell what kind of input device is used. What gave it away is the beginning of the clip. It is the character movement that the player is doing to shoot the item on the ground. Instead of moving the crosshair, which is what a mouse player would do, the player is moving the whole character instead to make a minimal aim adjustment. With a keyboard, this wouldn't be possible. At full movement speed, you would either under or overshoot the item on the ground. You could also argue about the turning behavior being the one thing that reveals it as a controller player. But overall, this was just a very difficult clip to test your skills. This player is also one of the best controller players that I have ever met. Again, links to all gameplay creators can be found in the video description. I hope you found this video useful and that you have learned a few more things to distinguish mouse users from controller players. The reality is that most people on consoles are controller players and not every good enemy must automatically be a mouse player.
So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.